Hello, welcome to this video. And in this video, we are going to talk about something I'm very, very excited about. And that is, of course, you've already seen from the title that this is our first look at Intuit Assist and how Intuit Assist is going to fundamentally change the way we use QuickBooks Online going forward. And we're going to be looking to see what the first iteration of it's going to be. Now, full disclosure, this is a US only product at this point in time. So I am logging into one of my US clients and I'm creating a US account from scratch on this one. So from a UK point of view, we don't quite have this. I'm already signed up for that, that access to the beta when that's available. Hopefully we'll see it soon. But for now, this is going to give us a great indication of what it looks like and how it is. So strap in, let's go straight into this because I think this is going to be a really, really important look. First look at what Intuit Assist is all about. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo. That QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, your digital disruptor for 2024, and also your hero behind the Hero Award winner for 2024 as well. And that friendly podcaster who goes live each and every Monday morning for Ask the Accountant. Now, we're going to go straight into this. I can't wait. I've already got kind of set up. I've got some bits I want to play around with. So let's go and see exactly what this is all about. So first of all, I've called this Intuit Assist First Look as a brand new client. So I thought I'd go through this bit here just so we can kind of see what, um, just to prove that it's a brand new client going through from there, it's a corporation, press next. So brand new account, not looked at this before, but where's that Intuit Assist element going to be? So the first new thing you're gonna find is when you go to the help screen, is that now it's gonna have this new AI element to it. So gone are the days with the old help screen, and now we're gonna have this new help screen to look at from over here. So it pops up with some options. How do I connect my bank account? How do I add accounts, child accounts? How do I get support for my online version? How do I add and manage users? So I'm, I will just click into one of these. How do I add a child account? At the moment, it's just gonna take me straight to the help section from there. That's fair enough. That's gonna come over time. There'll be more, more actual asking questions there at some point. But the bits that are activated though, is if I go to my invoice screen, I've got a whole new layout. First of all, this is the new invoice area. So you can see here, I've got all of this new area here. Um, so I've got the idea to be able to create the invoice exactly how it looks like. I can pick a customer, say UK for example. And then with this new layout we've got here, this the whole idea of this is it's supposed to be that we're editing the actual transaction. So here, because I've got the US one here, we've got kind of the exchange rate over here. Um, if I want to manage what this looks like, I've got these new ooh, suggested transactions are popping up as well. So my suggestions area is now shown here. Um, I can go into there and, and that's basically what I can see. Maybe some billable expenses as we've got kind of shown there. Customization options, I can change things around. I can manage custom fields, all the stuff we're kind of used to. Um, I've got the opportunity to put deposit in here. They're saying that's new. And I can actually put the deposit directly onto the invoice, make it really straightforward, make it simpler than we've ever had before. I got the opportunity to kind of look at different templates. I can add and edit. And ultimately the whole invoice experience has been updated. Now we're gonna cover that in more detail when it's in the UK and look at it in more detail. But the bit that you really need to be looking at is on the left hand side. Auto fill this invoice with files, images, and text. And the idea here is that we're able to grab a file and it's gonna use AI technology to be able to extract the file from there and bring it directly in. And we saw at Intuit Assist how that was working. So the idea was I could write a handwritten note, get that handwritten note into here and we're off to go. So let's say I just get a quick notepad out um, and then customer is, let's say customer equals UK and let's also say that they want and let's say that they want to say this customer wants 100 times drinkware and that's a product that we're selling at 10 10 pound dollars whatever this is set up to each so the idea then is this should be all that we need to do to get that over. So let's have a look and see if that's actually going to be possible. I should be able to airdrop it over to myself. Your workflow will be cleaner than this if you're doing it in real life, right? But I'm just kind of trying to showcase how this could work. Um, and then the idea would be that I can paste this item in here and I'm gonna drag an auto file fill from the file. 
So the idea it's reading that image for me. It's going through at the moment we're uploading. Um, 28%, 29%. It's going through, it's mapping things as we go. Image, 20th the 11th. So it's updated the date. See how it did that? It's then gone through. It's put the 100 where there. Um, it's told me that there's a quantity outside. It's put the customer in. Like, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty amazing. That none of this is staged, by the way. This is literally, I've just you've just watched me write it on my iPad, send it over to myself. It's gone there. <laughs> and it's taken that note in my terrible handwriting and put it in there. That is pretty cool. Hey everybody, Editor Aaron here. I think we just need to see that one more time, a little action replay. Look what happens as soon as it updates. Look at those glowing boxes. Those glowing boxes are Intuit AI actually updating each of those individual fields. Didn't really notice it first time around, but when I look back, I'm even more impressed. What do you guys think? So the other bit that it can do as well is about expenses and how it can extract expenses. Now, we've done lots and lots of opportunities lately where we've gone through and basically we've looked at these transactions that we've got um, in terms of other comparatives, right? We've looked at decks, we've looked at things like that, and we've been able to kind of put those transactions into QuickBooks using those third parties. And we've even compared it to receipt capture. Let's see what it's like though at being able to extract these sort of things. So um, I'm going to put a bill in at the moment. So this is going to be a bill uh, from uh, the company called Free. And it's going to upload it. Now, typically the way we would deal with this, right, is we would put this information in um, and, it, and we'd be able to kind of use a receipt capture and go from there. So um, it's filling out the form based on the information there. So first of all, it's going to try and find a payee, no doubt. Um, it's found the reference number. Found the element there. Um, it didn't know the payee, but knew the date, so it was able to update the date. Mobile telephone, it failed to put a description in there, put the amount in there, and it's attached it from here already. So we've already got one at the bottom there, bill free being going through. Now this is GBP, so it's having to kind of convert it for me. Um, I'd imagine if free was there as a payee, it would have put that on there for me as well. But again, it's extracted that information. Now, being a US product, it's not been able to kind of distinguish between um, the VAT or anything like that. So that's not been there. Um, and it didn't know a category at this point. So I'd have to go and kind of explain what the category was. But that's the sort of thing that it would learn over time. And the idea is instead of me having to do this manually, it's an extraction exercise. I'm using this tool on the left hand side to auto fill the transaction for me and get all of this information in. Um, it knows that the payment date was going to be this date up here and it's been able to extract it and put it through from there. And yeah, it is pretty, pretty cool. Let's try a different one then. Um, so instead of this one here, let's do, uh, let's close that one down. Let's see what happens if I were to put a, another one in here and select this one. This is Cocktail Geeks. Let's bring this one through. Um, so it's extracting the information, having a look at it, mapping it for me. So it's put it on a separate line for me, but it's been able to extract the date the reference number it's kept on the last one and put it from the separate line. Now, in theory, you'd never want both of them in there, right? It's probably a bad example of how that's done, but it's got both of those on there. Both of those have been extracted accurately. It's gone through from there. That is pretty, pretty cool. All right. Um, I did notice as well on my receipts area, if I jump in the receipts area, it's now kind of changed things around. Top right hand corner, I have upload receipts like I always have done, and I've uploaded from Google Drive. So those two functionalities are there, they're just almost hidden away. Because what they want you to do is use this tool here. So from here, I can kind of select files and go through from there. Now, let's test this a little bit, right? So I've got my Virgin Media one, I'm just going to drag it in there. Let's test what it does with it. So it's processing the file. And I'll be interested to see if this is using the normal receipt capture technology, or is this now going to be de defaulting directly to the new Intuit Assist technology? Let's have a look. 
So it's appeared here, I can review it. And this is what I like because now, instead of having to go to that new receipt capture page where you kind of having to relearn things, it wasn't quite right. This has created the exact transaction we're expecting to see. So this is that transaction, right? Here is all those transactions that we were expecting to bring in here. We've got the Virgin Media on the left-hand side. We've got, I mean, the class that was advertised in this one would have teach it that that's not the case. We've got a perfectly good description. We've got the amount coming through. We've got the payment date. We've got everything else. And it's ready to go as that transaction. We're not creating uh, some other kind of pseudo transaction that we're then going to map over to this. We're creating the exact transaction we need. And for me, I think that's far more powerful. I know how this expense works. So I left hand corner, I can switch it to a bill if I want to. Um, and I can then choose it as a bill and it can go from there. It's already extracted the due date for me. It already knew that, that the due date was there because it was on that piece of paper, right? It's extracted it. It's far more powerful this way than receipt capture ever was. This is completely changing the game. This has given us an opportunity to be really, really accurate on extracting that data and bringing it in. And by far the coolest element we saw of all this and how this was working was when we saw in real time extracting that information and bringing it in. So amazing. Now the bit I can't show just because this demo company doesn't have the ability to do it is invoice reminders. So there's a whole element there where you can see it being automatically detects past due invoices and automatically draft personalized invoice reminders. Now there's other features with Intuit Assist that we can look at later down the line, which includes the ability to auto categorization, auto chase item. There's gonna be much more reporting options and stuff like that. But I think as a baseline, and this is ready to go now, this is huge. This is the ability for you to create transactions just by dragging and dropping your actual images directly in. So it's OTR technology, yes, but it's OTR technology on a such a bigger scale. Really, really impressed with this. Like I'm very impressed on how quick that works. And just show it one more time. This is setting up an invoice, putting that invoice into here. Nothing's on there. I drag, I drop, all the information's there. Now, from a workflow point of view, this is about you figuring out that you know, someone's going to fill in a, an order form for you. That order form will get automatically emailed in, automatically put into there. And look, straight away, it's just it's just magically adding things for me, the, putting things in. Yes, this is the start of it. Yes, there's more to come, but I'm already really, really, really impressed with that. And it's definitely something that the competitors like Jax and all that sort of stuff aren't doing anything like this at all. This is built this way. And at the top there, it tells me that something needs my attention. Is that right? Should I create a new customer? It's going to be building that with me. And if we can get this workflow right of these sort of informations get put in like this, I think we're onto a massive, massive winner. I have the world's most terrible handwriting, yet somehow, some way, Intuit AI has been able to extract that information. That is cool. That is the future. And that's something... I'm really, really excited about. But what do you guys think? Am I completely missing the gun here? Should there be way more information to be looking at? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. What are you expecting to see from Intuit Assist? Suddenly, I'm open for far more than I ever thought Intuit Assist would be able to bring in. Yes, it's gonna have that conversation. Yes, we're gonna have a chance to have ways of chasing stuff. We're gonna test all that as it comes along. But coming out the gate with this as your feature, this as your opportunity where you just write something on an iPad, send it over, and it suddenly becomes a QuickBooks transaction. That is something that I think no one else is doing. And I think that's something that is so, so impressive. So Intuit Assist, you have me. I am ready to see more. Let's open up those betas sooner. Let's get in there. Let's see what it looks like from a UK perspective. And let's test it. Because so far, it's flown with flying colors. And I can't wait to do a comparison of a traditional OCR technology versus Intuit Assist, see which one comes out on top because so far so good in this situation and no one else is able to throw, you know, written words at it for it to be able to bring it out in quite this way. My name is Aaron Patrick. If you want to be the first person to know all about Intuit Assist, you're already in the right place or anything to do with QuickBooks, please make sure you use that subscribe button. Please let me know in the comments below what you want to see me test next with Intuit Assist. My name's been Aaron Patrick. Can't wait to get some more footage and more chances to play around with this. And I'm sure I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.
Hello and welcome to this new scene. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I'm alright. Yes, I'm aware we go live every Monday. The next generation is about everyone else that missed it. Yeah. So, currently. All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start? Because during that period of time, where did everyone turn to? Their account, right? Their advisors that would give a new, all the phenomenal work for small business. 